let's take a look at who would benefit uh, from taking the basics of enterprise data conversion class. I think business owners and IT experts will benefit. People who currently work on the data conversion and data migration projects. Um, this will include some uh, employees or consultants working for the organizations that are currently running projects. And almost every project um, that you run involves some sort of data conversion. For existing data, may need to be exported, analyzed, reformatted, uh, and then uh, reloaded into the new system. This is one of the business scenarios. There is also a need for analysts attempting to answer business questions to um, convert the data and load it into specialized application. For example, I worked with the SAS application, which is the analytical package, and it uh, takes the data from a lot of different sources before it does the analysis. And in order to correctly uh, uh, pass the data to such application, you will benefit from uh, knowing how to do data conversion. Even if you want to present the data in a simple application like Microsoft Excel, uh, you would benefit by knowing uh, how you can convert the data and prepare it in a different format. Also, if, uh, for example, you're trying to answer business questions and need to complete a uh, complex business analysis, um, this is a very um, real scenario where maybe you loading your uh, account statement and you're trying to find uh, transactions that meet particular criteria. So you need to build a complex queries. In order to load your accounting data, you may need to get it from Quicken and uh, load into Excel. That, that's a pretty real business scenario. Um, Maybe the data doesn't load by default. Maybe you need to export it into the uh, tab delimited format CSV file or something um, similar that is accepted by your target applications. And also experts migrating the data from in-house systems into cloud solutions or vice versa. Cloud systems are on the rise. And uh, if you're working with the, with the vendors or maybe it's, it's not a human-facing uh, solution that you need to uh, fulfill. Maybe this is you just have the requirements uh, for the system that you need to uh, understand and create the input files for that. For example, I uh, worked on the Blackboard conversion. Blackboard is the educational system um, and uh, as part of this exercise uh, we were doing a creation of quizzes uh, for the Blackboard. Uh, in order to do that, you have to create them in a specified format, uh, either in a text editor or in Excel, and then load them into Blackboard. And if there are any typos, mistakes, or tabs missing, then it wouldn't load correctly. So when you're talking about quizzes that have thousands of questions in the pool of questions, it certainly would benefit to set up a mechanism that would minimize the errors and uh, would allow you to accurately and quickly load the information. Why take this course? Uh, sometimes you might ask the question, you looked at the curriculum and uh, you're wondering, would I benefit? Uh, this is a practical use of Microsoft Access application. It's a good tool, but it's not readily used at the enterprises. Um, because it's hard to maintain. Companies learn that it's uh, difficult to maintain uh, reporting components, forms components, and, and some other custom-built components of Microsoft Access applications. We're not going to be using any of those. We will be using tables and queries, uh, and we will be using Microsoft Access as the pure database and data conversion engine. And that's the exciting use of this application because it allows you some flexibility. Everything's done on your local workstation. You have full control of access, and uh, if you pass through the data with or without transformations, uh, access would allow you to uh, achieve uh, the quality format of your data. You also learn how conversions could be done at the enterprises. Um, access is the intermediary uh, solution that is used uh, to load the data um, from the source systems, format it, uh, get the necessary fields and output 
it into the target format. You will also learn how to better understand your data, right? Um, you will uh, need to understand the data that you're loading from the source system because you need to achieve the specific output needed. Um, and this knowledge will help you take your business to the next level. By knowing the data, you will definitely get your business answers faster because um, you would be able to look at the past history to see how you can streamline and optimize the business processes. And data is the factual information. This is more than anything helps organization nowadays, especially during financial crisis, uh, to improve uh, productivity, uh, improve the financial results, improve profits, and increase revenues. If you're looking to work on a project, almost any IT project uh, does the data conversion work. Uh, examples might be when you load the um, existing data into a new system. For example, your organization is undergoing through the mergers or acquisition process, and uh, both companies had um, accounting system. New organization decided we don't want two systems. We want to pick one which is the best and load all of the data from the old system as historical information into the um, into that system. So the data needs to be extracted from the old systems, formatted so it meets the format, and loaded. And you may need to plan on doing it um, multiple times. I remember on one of my projects, I did it uh, seven times just to make sure we reached the necessary level of accuracy and performance uh, in order to complete this exercise. Also, if you're doing system replacement, uh, for example, um, you are uh, going from one provider to another provider, right? And you need to take the data, get it ready for the new vendor to load. For example, I worked on the project that took a learning data um, from one cloud provider. Uh, organization owned the data and provider gave the data back to them. But data needed to be reformatted and loaded to the new vendor. So this was a, a very complex exercise. Understanding your data is the key here. And as I mentioned, mergers and acquisitions happen a lot. Uh, could be multiple active directories where you need to use your employees' uh, information and merge this data into the new one. Could be human resource system. Uh, could be logistics system or anything else. Learn from the experts. I've been... Uh, on a lot of projects and I'm happy to share with you all my knowledge um, and uh, this is what I'm doing through this course and I'm hoping you will enjoy it. You can also find more information at uh, howtoanalyzedata.com. Thank you. Hello and welcome. My name is Vadim Michalenka and I'm excited to introduce you to the basics of Enterprise Data Conversion course. In this course, we're going to learn the major steps involved into the data conversion. As you can see on the screen, this is the course curriculum of what we're going to cover as part of this class. We're going to look at the data conversion process overview, where it makes sense to use it and where it doesn't make sense to use it. What are the key uh, business conditions under which you might consider using data conversion? We will be using Microsoft Access uh, for data conversion, and we'll cover the key features of Microsoft Access used for data analysis and data conversion. We'll look at the data file format basics. There are a lot of different files that could be involved in data conversion, and uh, as part of this class, we're going to cover some basic uh, file formats and what you might consider knowing and learning about this exercise. And we'll look how Microsoft Access allows you to do exporting the data. We'll also look at the options of creating scripts using uh, VBA, Visual Basic for Applications, and how this can help you to do a calculated um, um, data population or uh, processing some business uh, logics. And we'll look at the data privacy and security concerns that often asked 
and raised uh, based on the legislations that's currently involved in the United States. We will also look do a hands-on step-by-step -step conversion. Uh, we'll look at how you would gather business requirements. We will define some requirements for ourselves uh, as part of this course. Um, we will look at the source file and do some analysis of source file and load this data into access. Then we'll build some uh, output queries required to um, based on the needs for the target systems and we will look how we can export the data in the required format. Um, this course is available at udemy.com and uh, I am hoping that you would be able and will find an interesting and find this uh, as a good learning exercise for yourself and uh, looking forward for you to learning this information and um, enjoying this class. Thank you. In this video, we would like to take a look at the data conversion process and what it entails. Typically, we have a source data which might be coming from a different systems. It could be a database. It could be a file which represents the extract from that database. Or it could be uh, some uh, custom system that uh, may be just hosting the data. Uh, typically, in the data conversion, we have multiple files involved. And that's why this diagram represents two boxes. It's a good idea to take this source data and put it into the database engine. Why is this a good idea? First of all, it uh, allows you to quickly access and query the data, so you can do some validations. Secondly, you can extract only specific data elements that you're looking for that would be necessary for the target systems. And thirdly, you can do some data manipulation, which is much easier in the database engine, because you can write queries, you can construct some fields dynamically, uh, or you can do some other manipulations as needed. Maybe you need to calculate and move people from one uh, department to another department as part of the conversion. Maybe you need to do something else. Maybe the target system requires preparation of the data in a particular format. So all of this could be done in the database engine and specifically I recommend Microsoft Access because uh, this database engine could be used locally. Uh, the application is available in the most organizations or if not available could be easily purchased and used. It also allows you to write some scripts against the data. It's it's more complicated process, and we will uh, show a little bit of this in the future videos. But uh, it, it's an extremely powerful mechanism of data processing. And as the last step, once everything is normalized and processed, you are able to export this data into the uh, target format could be file output or this could be going directly against the other database engine or it could be XML file could be a lot of different options that uh, you might have and need to do so this example shows um, sample uh, conversion of the data that's necessary for example for the uh, HR system. For example, uh, let's assume that the business case scenario represents that uh, two organizations have merged and one organization had uh, PeopleSoft as the old HR system and another organization had a mainframe, custom mainframe solution that hosted HR data. And as part of the uh, merger, they are looking to build a single system that would host their um, HR data. So one of the solutions for data conversions might be uh, take extracts of uh, current employees 
from the first system, which is in this example, is PeopleSoft. Um, take the extract of the data from the mainframe system, merged it, load it into the access database, uh, process it as necessary, and then generate extracts for the target systems, which uh, could be a Salesforce or, or some other uh, web-based HR system. So we easily will be able to do extracts for employees with all the necessary attributes extract for the positions and we would be able to do a uh, hierarchy which is which represents um, the relationships between uh, positions and how they are organized starting with CEO and who, who reports to whom this is pretty much represents the reporting hierarchy hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new uh, and I will uh, hoping to see you uh, in the next sections. Thank you. If you like the videos that you just saw, uh, you might find it beneficial for you to go and learn more about us at uh, howtoanalyzedata.net. You can also go to udemy.com and mightbytes.com uh, to review the additional courses uh, that we publish. Uh, we also help you uh, with uh, individual consulting services if you need to do data analysis and data conversion and um, look into hire a specialist. Uh, just email us at howtoanalyzedata at gmail.com or uh, go to the website and populate the form contact us. Um, we specialize and have many years of experience in data conversion and available for delivery work, uh, remote or on-site, or can train your staff uh, to do data conversion or specifically answer the questions. Just uh, contact us for the quote. And if you have any additional uh, questions uh, or uh, looking to answer more of your business questions, stay tuned at uh, howtoanalyzedata.net. This is our website. And um, this is where we post the most recent courses and uh, stay in touch with you. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, looking forward to uh, providing you additional information to meet your business needs.